Hey there guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Camby and this is a special video answering a viewer submitted topic regarding the SAG Awards and the upcoming Best Ensemble, the highly coveted Best Ensemble Award. Here's the question. It came to us from Jordan who writes, Award season is coming. One of the precursors is, of course, SAG. Now, SAG is the Screen Actors Guild uh, Ensemble. I currently have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Irishman, Parasite, Jojo Rabbit, and Knives Out Predicted. My sixth slot, don't laugh, is Cats. And why not? That's a huge cast in that one. Uh, what do you think will be nominated and or win? All right, thanks a lot for the question, Jordan. And you bring up a couple of really interesting ones. Let me tell you one that I don't think will get nominated. And that's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the main reason I bring that one up is when I look at the history of, of SAG and the best ensemble, this, that's kind of SAG's best picture award, if you will. It's the best total group of actors for a particular movie. I have found, and really there's nothing that says this in any bylaw, I don't think, but I've just generally found that when it comes to best ensemble awards, they usually focus on movies where there's more than two major characters. Like the bare minimum seems to be three major characters. And when you look at Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it really is a movie of two guys. It's Leonardo DiCaprio and it's Brad Pitt. And it's really their movie. And so for that reason, I don't know if it'll fit in there. Now, the two that really stand out to me as very, very strong possibilities. Number one is The Irishman. Because The Irishman, you're talking minimum three, and they've got the big three. You've got Joe Pesci, you've got uh, Robert De Niro, and you've got Al Pacino. And all of three of them are absolutely fantastic in this movie. I, I have a few little issues with the movie, particularly when it comes to the runtime. I didn't think it needed to be as long as it was, but it's a great movie. And more importantly, as far as the SAG Awards go, particularly with Ensemble, it has great performances in it and even once you go beyond the big three in it you got a lot of secondary characters as well at least a number of secondary characters all of which are very very strong as well so when you're looking at this thing i think the irishman has to be right near the top of the list the second film that i would think right now would have to be considered a big front runner is knives out number one the movie is absolutely spectacular but beyond that it is an incredible ensemble and it ain't just two or three leads i mean it is a movie packed of great talent. I mean, you're starting off with Daniel Craig, who's incredible in it. Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, Lakeith Stanfield, Christopher Plummer, on and on and on. I mean, hell, you've even got the great Frank Oz in this movie, and they all are fantastic, and more importantly for the SAG consideration, it is a cast that has incredible chemistry with each other as you get into the movie and as it moves forward. Now, you've mentioned a couple other films and all of them have a very very good shot and you know what who knows maybe another film is going to come out of left field and be that one but right now if i had to put two dollars on it and thankfully i don't but if i did i would say our two main front runners for the sag award for best ensemble cast has either got to be the irishman or and actually it's going to be my pick is Knives Out. That's my pick, is Knives Out. I, I think it really is the strongest ensemble overall when you look at it, even though Irishman has some absolutely stellar, maybe even Oscar-winning individual performances in it, I'm going to go with Knives Out as ensemble. Anyway, guys, that's my look at that. Question is, which movies this year do you think have a strong chance at a Best Ensemble Award at SAG? I want to know what you guys think. Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. And listen, guys, while you're here, why don't you take a second, click on that subscribe button, become a subscriber to the John Campy YouTube channel. Make sure you click the thumbs up button, that always helps the channel. And guys, make sure you check out the John Campy Show, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, as we go live talking about our favorite things in the world, movies and movie news and all sorts of good stuff like that. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for me for now. My name is John Campia, and until next time, bye-bye.